fast it's moving right. underneath, the debris that can be in there. Um, so it's dangerous, obviously, whether you're in a car or on foot. But definitely follow those uh, warnings and those instructions and turn around and don't risk your life. It's not worth it. And Matt, we had a lot in a very short amount of time. Yeah, some of us picked up over three inches of rain in Benton County. The hot spots for that rain was in southwestern Benton County from Salem Springs to XNA, Centerton, Cave Springs, and in downtown Bentonville, too. And then we had another good pocket in central Madison County. In Washington County, we had about an inch and a half. And then throughout much of the River Valley, we had about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. We didn't have as many flooding issues in the River Valley. Thank goodness, because we had all those hail reports, and now we've had three tornado reports in the River Valley, one tornado report in eastern Oklahoma, and then, of course, just a couple of weeks ago, we had the EF3 in Washington County. So we've all had a mix of our severe weather, and we're just now getting to mid-April. So we've got a long season ahead of us uh, as we speak. All right, so let's talk about the freeze alerts coming in tonight. It's going to get cold. A lot of us are in the 40s. We've got a freeze warning in effect for northwest Arkansas. We've got a frost advisory for the River Valley. It's going to get chilly. We've got clear skies tonight. We've got a light northerly wind after that cold front blasted on through. I tell you what, though, we had a good evening, didn't we? That, that wind still kind of got you, but that wind is slowly starting to die down. By tomorrow, it'll be out of the south about five miles per hour. You may not even notice it. But strong thunderstorms continue to march east. We are done with this storm system. But another one's now coming in towards the west. This thing right here is going to give us maybe an isolated storm Friday and a few showers as we go into the Easter holiday. But we've got clear skies tonight. You can see the stars perfectly. It's going to be cold tomorrow morning. You think, Matt, we've got a freeze alert. We've got temperatures in the mid-30s. Well, that's the temperature basically at our head height. You go down to the ground, you can minus about five degrees to a lot of these temperatures. That's the air temperature right next to the plants and uh, things like that. If you have any sensitive plants that you might have already put out, they could be damaged tonight. So at the plant level, we'll be down about 31. At the plant level, Northwest Arkansas will be down about 29. So it's going to get cold. But I tell you what, when does that sun gets on up in the sky tomorrow, we'll warm up. We'll hit the mid to upper 60s in Northwest Arkansas, light southerly wind. I think we may hit briefly 70 in the River Valley tomorrow, and you're going to look out your window. You're going to see a lot of blue sky. I think we've got a great Thursday before more showers come in for this holiday weekend. But future cast showing you those clear conditions overnight tonight. No worries as we dip into the 30s. Southerly winds come back for tomorrow, helping us to try to get to some 60s, maybe some 70s. Maybe a stray high cloud in the distance. That's about it. We've got more ch weather chances coming in for Friday and this weekend, especially Friday is the one to look out for. We'll be watching this quick clipper system produce maybe a couple thunderstorms for us. We've got a level one severe risk for that. So keep that in mind. I think more rain chances come in for Saturday and for Easter Sunday. But right now, it just looks like some light rain showers overall. Nothing that we can't handle, but we're not going to completely have a dry weekend. But I will tell you, it's not going to rain all weekend either. We'll get a little rain and the sun will come back out, and then you may have to watch for a shower a little bit later, too. Just enough to be an annoyance. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. Right. Pretty much. But I think we have plenty of time yeah. to do Easter egg hunts, had to get breakfast with your family, church sure. services, anything like that. I think we're good. Better than just a big old downpour all yeah. day. Yeah, so totally. We'll enjoy it. Yeah. All right, Matt, thanks. We'd like to present you the key to the city. Come on over yeah, it's Fort Smith native Jalen Williams given a key to the city today and tonight by Mayor George McGill. He was uh, speaking at the Boys and Girls Club of Fort Smith, where he used to attend when he was a small child. That was just, what, a couple of years ago? <laughs> no, that's been a while back. Mayor McGill gave Williams the key tonight after he led the Razorbacks to the Elite Eight uh, last month in March Madness. He was also named the first team All-SEC. He's declared himself for the NBA draft, but didn't hire an agent leaving the possibility he could return to Fayetteville to play with the Razorbacks another year. Jalen was the guest speaker. This is an annual event they do every year where they recognize the youth of the year and the volunteer of the year. Jalen, as a former Boys Club member, got to be the guest speaker. It's pretty incredible. It looks like he had a great crowd there to How support fun. him. Well, after last night's thrilling victory over Wichita, the Naturals look to make it two straight tonight at Arvest Ballpark. We'll have the highlights and more coming up next in sports.